long one. Good morning, everybody. Today is my 24th birthday and I'm doing my little birthday tradition. I did this last year with you guys on my 23rd birthday, but I've been doing this for as long as I've had this little thing. I'm not sure how long I've had it, but on my birthday every year, I write a little note to myself. It ranges like, especially depending on how I'm feeling like when I wake up on my birthday, but I particularly remember my 23rd birthday being a very fun day, so. I was in a good mood. It's a cute one that I think is fun to share. I'm not trying to have some crazy revelation or like realizing we're getting older and start to spiral because I think getting older is pretty cool. It's cool to think that like 24 kind of like starts now and I want to be able to make like my birthday and like where I'm at in this moment kind of like mark it and see how we've grown and how we've changed and what we've done and like we, but like, you know, yeah, it's crazy to think how much has changed since last year. Just by like making that video and doing this kind of stuff, like I definitely remember it more, I think, and like remember where I was at back then and I'm babbling on, but basically what I wrote, kind of a long one. For this year, I really want to be happy, less stress, more fun. I want to believe in myself more than I doubt myself. That's a huge one. I feel like compared to last year, I think I doubted myself less but I think I was a bit more stressed. A win is a win though. You know what I mean? I'll take that. I said, I hope Karen and I love and do well living in New York and develop our relationship even more. That's crazy to think that that happened this year. Like he moved to New York and we stopped being long distance. That's a crazy one. It feels like so used to it now having him here and like our relationship dynamic that it's just, it just doesn't feel like it just happened last year. But yeah, obviously that was huge this year. I said, I hope I continue to do what I love, whether it's influencing YouTube, styling, or working for a brand that I love. I hope we get to travel this year somewhere new. That's the goal. I love you, Chloe. Happy 24th. From Chloe. In terms of traveling, she was definitely thinking bigger than the places I went this year, but I will say something my 23 year old self would be very excited about because I finally went to New Orleans or New Orleans. I went there for the first time. I've been wanting to go there like for so long, like for years and years and years. And I want to go back so bad. It was so beautiful. I think I'm going to write my next little letter, put her in, give her a kiss. It's getting a little bit sappy, but I just want to thank you guys for supporting me throughout this last year. You guys are amazing. I love you guys. I love YouTube. I love doing this. It is so much fun for me and I'm just glad you enjoy it. I'm excited for more things to come, hopefully big things, manifesting, and I think it's going to be a good one. 24. I like that number. She's cute. You know, she's cute. Feels older though. Definitely feels older. <laughs> I'm like, wow, numbers increasing. Like, that's crazy. But I don't know. Hi, lovelies. I just wanted to pop in here super quick and thank the sponsor of this week's video, who I'm so excited for. This week's video is sponsored by BetterHelp. I cannot express to you how excited I am to be working with BetterHelp because, as you guys know, I've talked about this. Therapy has been a part of my life since I was very, very young. I went to family therapy in the beginning, I was in like therapy in elementary, middle school for like. <laughs> like kids who you know whose parents were divorced I was put in a banana split club that's what we were called and like met with like the school therapist I've had my own therapist um, and I've bounced around depending on like what I kind of need and what fits best and so my relationship with therapy has like always been growing and developing but I've always valued it so much as a tool for self-care and prioritizing mental health. I feel very privileged to have grown up with a mom. My mom's a psychologist. She's always, always put mental health first with me and all my siblings. And I think, you know, obviously not a lot of people have these resources where mental health is put in the forefront of their lives or considered just as important as XYZ. So I think resources like BetterHelp are huge. Just in the theme of it being like my birthday and just like growing up and things forever changing. There are things in your life that you want to talk to somebody about or feel out of your control. It's a really cool investment in yourself. If you are not familiar with BetterHelp, it is an online mental health platform, which essentially offers professional therapy made easy, affordable, and accessible to everybody, which is amazing. Personally, like I said, I've switched around therapists depending on what I feel like I need, which is also very much a privilege. And I think BetterHelp does a really good job at making sure people know that they have that ability. They make it very easy and simple to switch around if you don't see fit. I will say the matching and placement service of you to your therapist is really well done. They have a great survey which helps them kind of 
pair you with what you need um, because obviously that is incredibly personal. Scheduling is super simple. There's like a live chat with constant communication with your therapist. So if things come up, you can always just message them super quick. I really encourage you all to check out BetterHelp and see if it works for you, if therapy is something that you're open to. I actually have a code, it's linked in the description. I'll also put it here, but it's betterhelp.com slash philopolis. And you actually get 10% off your first month with BetterHelp, which is really exciting and really cool. I also have a QR code, which I'll put up on screen to make it easy, simple. Um, and that link should just pop up using this QR code. I obviously love what they're doing and their message and I think it's really beyond. So I just want to thank BetterHelp again for sponsoring this week's video and thank you guys for listening to me and supporting my channel. I adore you guys. But yeah, let's get back to all the birthday goodness and celebrations, but appreciate you BetterHelp. I can show you my little birthday outfit. Let's do that and then we journal. Just wanted to be comfy today. Here's our vibe. <laughs> this little shirt I got from Depop. She's super comfy, a little boxy baby tea situation. And then Capri's from Isabella. I'll put her Instagram here. These are like the tighter fit ones. She makes flare ones. I talked about this in my last video two videos ago, um, but they're like my favorite pants right now and I want to live in them and I want 700 pairs. I'm obsessed. You guys know how I feel about Capri's and Isabella just did it so well. And then I have my soda platform flip flops that I was unfortunately planning on getting um, a birthday Manny Petty didn't have time to do that, but that's okay. Just hoping nobody looks at my feet. Anyways, um, I love you guys. Let's head out, let's have a great day and I'll talk to you I think when I'm back from work and changing into that right there, that's on my bed. I haven't really tried on the full outfit. So I don't have a plan for hair and makeup. Really unlike me, but I think we're gonna figure it out. We have a good amount of time once I get back from work, hopefully, to figure it out and play around. So I will talk to you guys then. Hi guys, I've started to kind of get ready. I really just changed and then like put on face powder, but I'll show you guys my outfit in just a sec. Today at work was so cute. My coworkers got me donuts, like so many fucking donuts. And I need to actually, let me zoom in. I had a strawberry frosted one today. I was munching on this red velvet one. Tiz and I were munching on the lemon. This also got me flowers, which was so fucking cute. I literally like, I can't even deal. Karen bought me these flowers, so cute. I think we're gonna like bring all this stuff to the flower shop just cause I don't have any like decorations and I don't want the table to just be like meh. I mean the cake will be on it, but you know what I mean? So we'll bring this. Karen and I are gonna Uber cause we have the cake as well. Yeah, we just have to add little like chamomile flowers on top and then whipped cream little swirls, but we're gonna do the whipped cream when we get to the flower shop cause I feel like whipped cream is very like light and sensitive, you know? And if we do the dollops, like it's not gonna stay and it'll melt and slide off. I'll show you what I've got going on so far with the outfit. I'm gonna do a bold lip. I'm not sure what color exactly. I'm leaning towards like a deeper red, not so much like cherry bright red. I want it to give a little vampy, a little bit more mature just cause I'm serving like little baby girl right now and I'm like kinda freaked out by it, but once you see the bottom half, you're like, oh, okay. I'm gonna have my black little flats as well with the little bows on them that I recently got. This skirt, black swim bottoms. This skirt, this is basically like where you button it. Like this is a little button, but I kind of like that it like V's like that. I like that shape. I think it's flattering and cute. And I like how you see a little midriff just because the silhouette of both of these pieces is so very open, you know what I mean? So I feel like this is cool. And then the bow is from Awoke Vintage. I just put in my little hair. We're doing a side part. I'm feeling it right now. These pieces were from the Southampton Fleet. And then gonna do this baggie. But I'll update you more once I'm more complete. Okay, status on the cake, everybody. Kieran, Ireland made me this cake. Matcha cake and like strawberries and cream frosting. Put strawberries on top and we're gonna do the little dollops of whipped cream in between the strawberries and then little chamomile flowers around. Yeah, that's best boyfriend ever. He's tweaking that I'm not gonna like it, uh, but I think I'm gonna love like, it. Yeah. What? Nothing. <laughs> You're going, nothing. It's gonna be delicious. So we have the cake and now we have all these donuts for people to enjoy where I'm gonna get a yummy drink. I forget what the drink is at the flower shop that I really like, but it's tequila passion fruit. Well, it's mezcal passion fruit and I replace it with regular tequila. 
forget what it's called, but I'm gonna remember and I'm gonna say it and put it right here. Spanky. In case you ever go, it's really fucking good. Everybody say happy birthday. Woo! -hoo -hoo. 24, 24. Good. <laughs> I think that's fine. Yeah, that's cute. That's perfect. Make sure it's looking right. Yeah, no, this is cute. Yeah, no. No, for sure. No, for sure. <laughs> I think. Cute. Cute. A fish outfit of the night, everybody. Look at Karen's cute outfit with the jeans, with the jeans. And the shirt. I showed you guys everything. The flea market, a woke vintage, onward jewelry, the middle finger, and then this one my mom thrifted for me, I think. Shoes thrifted. <laughs> Here we are. This is the look. So excited. Did a little berry lip. It's just House Labs liner. And then the YSL red that I'm always wearing. That's House Labs gloss. Lip oil in primary on top. And then just mascara and a little liner. Something light. Oh, and then <gasps> Karen. Karen. Chloe. Can you explain? It's just my great grandma's bag. <laughs> that he gave me. <laughs> just my great grandma's bag. But Kieran gave me this and it's such a cute bag and it holds so much and it's so fabulous. It's actually featured on Orson Iris' website because we did style e com with it. So shout out great grandma. Shout out Thelma Ireland. Shout out Thelma. Hey, you can actually do it. Hey! Oh my god, it looks so good! Here he is, the man, the myth, the legend, the one, the only, Kira! Camera's this, camera's this, camera's this, camera's this, camera's this, camera's this. And that was a close-up. Kisses to Chloe, and good night. Time to go to work. So tired. Love you, I'll see you after work. Oh, wow. Our day and day slash night starts now. We are going to Williamsburg, Baby Blues, luncheonette. I've been wanting to go for a while. 
for brekkie brunch. Then we're gonna bop around. Then we have like reservations for happy hour and then like a little dinner. I'll show you guys what we do. And tell you what we have. But we're waiting for the train now, so I might have Kieran to uh, film my outfit. Tasty bread. Or okay, we're waiting in line. We're going to Winston did not work out. <laughs> Crazier line. Um, so then we stopped into Tasty Artisan's bread. Fire. Great prices. I cannot wait to grow. Cheese Danish, apple turnover, and chocolate almond croissant. And we got a water. And we're gonna eat while we wait for baby blues. And we're gonna eat before we eat some more. <laughs> Here we are. I'm gonna try this one This is really yummy. Are you good? It's not really a kind of thing. Well, I love that. Yeah. Really good. Why is it so good? It's like the lemon is really good. drugs and these dresses make me want to cry. This petticoat. All of this, all the dyed stuff. Everybody. I just had the bestest day yesterday. Kieran took me out on like a date day in tonight. Just like a whole day started with food and shopping and just fun little new places. Us two love to experience new amazing food places. Big foodies, so it was a great day. Every place we went was literally so delicious and amazing and I highly, highly, highly recommend. Shops didn't go anywhere new. This is from Tender Single. 
the only thing I purchased yesterday, but it's just a cool funky belt. I don't have a black belt and Kieran really needed a belt. So we were looking through them all. I don't know something about it. I like the black and the blue detail. The belt buckle is just so, so unique and cool. You guys know me. I don't really like wear denim all that much, but I feel like if I were to pair like a classic tee with a good pair of denim and like this belt, it's like immediately cooler to me. Always felt jeans on me look so weird. Partly because I can never find a pair that fits me, but um, that's a big part of it. But I just am excited to style this, wear it over slouchy dresses. I just don't have a black belt. So this was the purchase of the day. And then Kieran bought a belt as well. That was everything that I purchased yesterday. I do need to close out this video. I'm editing it right now. And yeah, I just feel very blessed and loved. And I just had a great birthday. And thank you all so much for watching and supporting me again and wish me happy birthday for everybody that did. You guys are so sweet. I love you. Yeah, I hope you guys all have an amazing week. I will see you in my next video. Sending you all my love. You're the best. Thank you again, BetterHelp, for sponsoring this week's video. That means like the world to me. And yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.